We've come down to the worldwide launch of the Nikon D700, which is its new DSLR, which is sitting firmly in between the D3 and the D300. Now, what's interesting about this camera is that it inherits many of the features that people have got used to in the D3 and the D300. So, if you've got used to, for example, the D3 and the D300 in terms of their interface, then this is exactly the same interface on the D700. But there are massive differences as well. Number one, most important, price point. When the D3 came out, it was around three and a half thousand pounds. This camera is coming out at the end of July for just under 2,000, which is obviously a massive difference. But you have got pro level features in there. So you've got the same 12.1 megapixel chip as in the D3. You've got compact flash card um, compatibility, but there's only actually two, um, there's two slots in the D3, whereas there's one slot in this camera. Battery life on this camera is um, around 1,000 shots, obviously much higher in the D3, but again, still pro level. And the main thing that you've got in this new FX camera is you've got a dust reduction system actually integrated. It does mean that your area of coverage is shut down to 95% instead of 100%. But if this means that you know, you're not gonna get dust into your camera messing up your shots, then you know, it's got to be an important thing. Other things to mention, you've got the same size screen as you had on the D3 and the D300. And in terms of weight, this camera is incredibly light. I mean, it's a smaller FX model. In fact, it's the most compact FX model to date. So essentially what you've got is pro level standards in an FX body, but at a 2000 pound price point. And that's the Nikon D700, and that's coming out the end of this month.